Hello everyone, I'm Walla and I am Raha from Brazil University. This video is presented to Dr. Khadr Mohammed. In this video, we are going to show you the steps of integrated circuit fabrication. At the first, what is integrated circuit? An integrated circuit also referred to as an IC. It is an electronic circuit formed on a small piece of semiconducting material, performing the same function as a larger circuit made from discrete components. He is a collection of electronic components, resistors, transistors, capacitors, etc. All stuffed into a tiny chip, connected together to achieve a common goal. Integrated circuits can be categorized as analog, digital or a combination of both. They perform functions like amplification, filtering, timing, and it can be used as computer memory or microprocessor. When we talk about integrated circuit fabrication, we have to focus on the process before send the layout to the fab, which is design. Once the system specification is decided, the process of designing the architecture of the system starts. This includes defining the software interfaces, timing, performance, area, and power constraints. And then build models which links between the design and the technology. Then they simulate and test the result. Finally, they send the layout to the fab. Fabrication process. Fabrication of integrated circuits needs a lot of sequential steps. But, important thing that wafer fab must take expensive precaution. The fabrication of semiconductor micro devices takes place in clean rooms to protect the complex circuits from contaminations, which can impact operability. The wafer fab are more than 100,000 cleaner than an operating room. 1. Converting sand to silicon. The process starts with sand but not just any kind of sand, or even beach sand. The particles that act as the starting point for silicon wafers are specifically mined. High temperatures are required to produce a reaction, where the oxygen is removed, then it will. Heated to thousands of degrees, and purified to produce an ultimately flawless cylinder of silicon, as you see. Step 2. Slicing the crystal into wafers. Wafer slicer is a precise cutting machine, and each slice having thickness about 0.01 to 0.025 inches. It can be smoothening by polishing, the wafer must thoroughly clean and dried. Step 3. Photolithography A photosensitive chemical is applied and then ultraviolet light is shown through a mask. Wafers are usually quite large. The process of shining light called photolithography through the mask must be repeated many times, often fitting hundreds or thousands of them on a single wafer. Each one will later become one single chip, a dye. Step 4 and 5, etching and doping. In etching, it's selectively removing unwanted material from the surface of the wafer and then by doping, they alter the electrical character of silicon. P and N region dot are created by this step. Step 6, Wafer Slice. This is the next step after the ions have been placed into the wafer. Now, the wafer is cut into small pieces called die. Before the die are encapsulated, they are mounted onto lead frames and thin gold wires connect the bonding pads on the chip to the frames to create the electrical path between the die and lead fingers. Step 7, Packaging and Testing All qualified parts are laser marked with part numbers. Another identifying information, each chip scanned to check if it satisfies all the specifications the wafer produced 100 chip. Eventually, tests are carried out to ensure the circuit on the die performs as desired, they test the chips and finally they put it in the packages and then placed into the boxes. These are the steps of integrated circuit manufacturing. In fact, over the years, technology has revolutionized our world. Technology has created amazing tools and resources putting useful information at our fingertips. And that brings us to the end. We would like to thank all of you for your watching. Hope you enjoyed.